Happy Fab Fit Fun Friday. I've got a couple of shop orders in from some previous edit sales. So if you want to see what I got on this Fab Fit Fun Friday, stay tuned. Hi and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Bandit's sitting next to me, but you can't see him because he's just, you know, He's a little guy and Chloe is at home, but if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. So I have a couple of previous FabFitFun edit sales. I don't even know. One of them was the beauty sale. I know that like the hair tools, hair care kind of sale. I don't remember the other one, but they're both reasonable size boxes. So they're both this size. For, for once, my FabFitFun boxes don't look like they could contain a pony, so that's nice. I am going to grab some scissors and we're going to get into this because I, I only remember one thing that I ordered. So they haven't been doing mystery bundles with every sale, which is good. And I don't even know, they're currently sitting, I'm filming this on the 27th of April. So I do have my edit sale or add-ons sitting in my cart. I do have three mystery bundles sitting in there, but I will probably dump two of them because for the increased price, I don't feel like they've increased the quality. And I was actually not real excited about my last ones that I got. So there's other things I'd rather spend the money on. For an extra 20 bucks, they have bundled up everything in the box. It's not everything, but they've bundled up different curations of the summer selections. So I did get all of the boxes last time. This time I'm going to get at least two of these bundled curations. One of them, one or two things that I want. And if that's the case, it would be cheaper to just add them on. And the other one, I also don't feel like it had a lot that I wanted. So I'll probably only add on two of those. They're in there, to be honest. They're sitting in my cart. I have to decide what to do. I have to kind of look at them a little bit better. And tomorrow, once I make my selections, I'll figure out what is going to be cheaper for me and then dump the ones that I'm not going to keep so that somebody else can grab them up. These sold out like within minutes. Like I was on there at 12 o'clock and it was very slow. When they first opened it, it was so slow because there's so many people on there that by the time I was actually able to see these, they were gone. But then I just kept refreshing and they popped up as available. So I was able to add all the curations in that they did from the summer box as well as a uncustomized box. But again, right now my cart has like $600 worth of stuff and it is, that is definitely not going to be the case after tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to grab the scissors. We're going to see what I got. Now, while I've got this fab fit fun in front of me, I want to ask you guys a question. So, Monique is still on a pause. She's not sure if or when she's going to be coming back to YouTube. So, I had pre-filmed, because I pre-film, like that's the only way I get anything done. So, by the time you guys see stuff, it's like so late. But I had pre-filmed three mystery bundle battles with her. They're quite old, like they've been sitting in there since... I don't know, whenever the last time we had done mystery bundle battles, I had already had these three sitting and waiting for the future. Do you guys want to see those? Like without, without, I filmed them thinking they were going to be mystery bundle battles with Monique. They're just going to be mystery bundles. If you guys want to see those, let me know. I'll film like a little thing at the beginning saying that these were pre-filmed. I'll try to as much as possible cut out where I'm saying it's a mystery bundle battle. But if you guys want to see those, let me know. They are quite old. This is the box from their hair care. And for $89, I picked up this. Now, do I need this? No. But these other ones look like really, really cool. And then they got like a big fat one. And I'm hair obsessed. 
So for $89, I thought that was a good deal. This is, I'll look up what the MSRP is on this, but it was a great deal, I felt like. Now on their website, this does come with a glove because when you're using the wands, they don't have the clip. So it's very easy to burn your hand. I don't know, when I read the description, it didn't say that this came with a glove, but on all of the ones that they list on their shop, in the Foxy Bay shop, they all do come with gloves or a glove. All right, so there are all of the ones that it comes with. And I did watch them kind of style with each of those. It does come with a glove. I'm guessing this must be a heat resistant glove. It feels like a regular glove. It's quite an extra bunch of room in here for me. So I may have to order a smaller one because this looks like it's an extra large. Like I can't imagine that's gonna really bother me. Next, I got another set of these. These are those pillow scrunchies. And if you get Goldie Boxed, they were also on the Goldie Boxed shop for a really good price. I think I paid $11 for these. So I think they're about that in the Goldie Box shop, maybe 12, but very close. And these are hair scrunchies, but they've got like pillow material in them. So they're really great for sleeping in. By Christoph Robin, I got the Cleansing Volumizing Paste. It smells smells good. Their volumizing line is a rose scented base. So if you don't like rose, this may not be the best product for you because it does, whoops, it does have a strong rose scent. Not a bad one, but still like you can definitely know that that's rose. Also by Christoph Robin is their cleansing mask with lemon. Very, very thick. It does have a nice lemon scent. Feels very nice and creamy too. And by Living Proof is the Amp Texture Volumizer. Now this does come with instructions. It tells you, read me first. Do you want this to work, don't you? says you're going to use this on dry hair. You're going to lift muss, shows a little picture, and work it through. Don't apply it to the scalp. It says to revive it with your, revive your hair with your fingertips or a brush throughout the day or on the second day. And don't add any additional product on the second day. You can revive what's in your hair. It says create a smooth, Voluminous style by blow drying using a round brush, no additional product needed, and create an updo by working hair into a messy bun or ponytail and secure strands using a bobby pin or elastic. So we have all of our instructions. Let's take a look and see how this works. I did just come back from the stylist. So just got my hair done. I'm gonna use just that much. I'm gonna work it into my hands and I'm gonna work it into my hair and kind of muss it up a little bit. Okay, I think that works pretty well. I like that. We'll see how it how it lasts. See how it looks by the end of this video. But I'm hopeful. This could be my holy grail right here. Could be. A little, a little messy over there, but all right, that's box number one. 
All right, just a few things in this one. I don't remember what specific edit sale this this was. I, I want to say home, but I don't know because I have other things in home items. But I have this Brill Bubble Mousse Hand Wash Refillable Cleaning System. We have our dispenser. Then we have our two, and these are like a granule based fillers to put in here. We have vanilla and coconut. You use the whole pouch. See if it's giving you like a good look of what that looks like. So you pour the whole thing in here, then fill the rest with water, and you are ready to go. So we'll see how this works out. I know one issue I have is a lot of the soap dispensers that I get are like this from like Bath and Body Works and they're not refillable and you can't put like the big soap refills in there because of the way it makes it into foam. So we'll see how these work. If they work, you could probably put them in any kind of foam pump like from Bath and Body Works, instead of having to throw those out, you could actually reuse them. We'll see. The other home item I got is this Ryan Porter candle. This is Ryan Porter. It says, You Grow Girl. And this has a nice cucumber scent to it. It has some other scents in there, but cucumber was the main scent that drew me and definitely has a nice cucumber scent. Cucumber, honeydew, cantaloupe, aloe, powder, and fresh air. So I think this smells amazing. Mm. You can definitely pick up those melon scents in there too. Next by London Town is their Kerr, which is one of their brands, I guess, as in lacquer. Restorative Nail Cream. This stuff is wonderful. I've actually used this before, so I picked up another one to use. By Mally, we have an intense, intense color lip gloss in Get It Girl. So here's how that looks. I can't remember what drew me to this. I don't, I don't know, but I think it's an all right color. I think if I mix that with like a nude, it would come out nice. Then I got two sets of the London Town nail polishes. So this set has like the sparkly purple, these other two shiny ones. And this one has more kind of fallish colors, but this one right here actually has like a great hue to it. So those are my FabFitFun add-ons. What do you think? And what do we think? Does, did my hair kind of stand the test of it? I think, I think so. Um, I did pause the video to take a couple of phone calls. So this has been longer than you're watching, I guess I should say, um, that it's been in. And I think it is a good product. Like I think you can just kind of do this and it's going to bring that back to life and I think this side's actually stayed a little bit better so yeah I think I will definitely be repurchasing that product for sure all right well thank you so much for spending a little time with me please consider hitting that like subscribe and notification bell and hopefully I'll see you soon